Hi, I'm Michael Manning from American Auto Wire. Welcome to Tech Tips. Today we're going to talk about electric fan connections using a fan relay kit. The important thing in hooking up your fan relay is that you always use a relay. And we use a relay for several reasons. One of, the, one of the primary reasons is safety. As you're going down the highway and your fan is spinning, maybe your fan's not on, the fan is still spinning and has the possibility of some current feedback into the system. We don't want that. Fan relay will stop that from happening. The second thing is, is that the power required to run your fan needs to go through some pretty heavy gauge wire. In order to do that, without a relay, you'd have to have a switch that was capable of handling all that amperage. This means that the wire would come from your battery or from your power source into the dash to the switch and back out again to the fan. It's a dangerous situation for that heavy gauge wire to run through your dash. Uh, the second thing that's really important is that by using a relay, we have ultimate flexibility in how we switch the fan on, and we do that through the relay coil. We're going to talk a little bit more about how a relay works, but it's important for you to realize, use the fan relay, and the important thing is that we have control of switching. Since we identified that we're going to use relay, a brief little explanation about how a relay works. You need to think of a relay as a switch. You have power in, you have power out of the switch, and you have some switching mechanism. That mechanism is the relay coil. If you take a look at a relay, you can look at the side of it and the bottom of it, and very simply, the power in is usually denoted by a 30, power out is usually denoted by an 87. That's your, your power circuit. The relay coil circuit is 85 for a power source, 86 for a ground. The important thing about selecting a relay is to match the relay to the current draw of your electric fan. In this particular case, you could have the standard 70 or 80 amp relay or the standard 35 to 40 amp relay. And the difference is, look at the difference in the blade size right here. On the, th on the 70 to 80 amp relay, it's about half again as big because of the, the increased current carrying capability of this relay. It's important that we match this relay to the continuous output current draw of the fan. How you turn the switch on, one side of that relay coil gets power, the other side gets a ground. When that circuit is complete, it triggers the relay and it allows power to go from the power input signal to the output and obviously from battery power to fan. So the main thing right now is how do we control that ground? That's the important thing. That's what we're going to show you how to do next. We control the ground in a relay with any component, and I'm, I'm using that term very specifically, any component that can switch to ground or set a ground. That can be either a switch, it could be a sensor, it could be a pressure sensor switch, it could be a computer controlled circuit that sets a ground. Any one of those will work. The key to it is, does it set a ground? When it sets that ground, that completes the relay coil circuit and allows continuity between power in and power out. Another way of controlling the ground for your relay is, is for those people that have air conditioning systems is the use of a vintage air's trinary switch. Purpose of this switch uh, is to set a ground at a specific pressure point in the AC system. What the switch does is has multiple functions. You can read on the side the functions, it has a high and a low pressure cutoff. So it cuts power to the compressor for high and low pressure. But it also has a, re a ground setting at 254 pounds of pressure in the line. This switch will set the ground circuit, which will be another way of turning the fan on long before it becomes dangerous for the system. As you can see, the important part of the fan relay installation really deals with the trigger mechanism for the relay itself. The switch in the block, the use of a vintage air's trinary switch in the event that you're running AC, and a manual override 
that allows you to control that ground to the relay at any point in time. This is the system we recommend and uh, we hope that solves any problems with your installation. Thank you for watching Tech Tips. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter or visit us at AmericanAutoWire.com.